Hi, so in this video we're going to start talking about the highest common factor of a set of numbers. Now there are a couple of different ways in which you can do this. Uh, you can either use factor trees or you can use short division. Or if you have a look at mathsrat.co.uk that will give you quite a lot of the examples of how we do highest common factors and also what they're for. They're really useful when you're dealing with fractions. So fractions for multiplication, division and also equivalent fractions. Um, you can also have a look at the channel on YouTube and have a look at the playlist on lowest common multiples and highest common factors. I uh, hope you find it useful. What we're going to do is just have a look at a fairly straightforward example of how to work out the highest common factor of two numbers. So if we think about highest common factor, what we're looking at firstly is finding out the factors of the number and then we're looking at the highest number which is common to both. Okay, so as an example then, we'll use the numbers um, 8 and 12. Okay, so if we look first at the factors of 8, well, the first factor is 1, because 1 will divide into 8 8 times. Uh, the next factor will be 2, because 2 will go into 8 4 times. Next factor will be 4 because it will go into 8 twice and then the last factor will be 8 because it will go into 8 once. So in other words, what we've got there is the factors of 8, all the numbers that will divide neatly into 8 without leaving any remainder. Um, we'll do the same for 12, so we've got 12 is 1, uh, 3 will go into 12, 4 will go into 12, 6 will go into 12 and 12. So what we've got there is a list of all the factors of 12 and we just look for the highest common factor to both of them which happens to be in this particular case 4. So the highest common factor of 8 and 12 is 4. All right. So it is a fairly straightforward way of doing things but it just does take a little while to work through and make sure that you've got all the list of all the factors and that can be a little bit tricky which is why really using a factor tree or using short division is a method that, that is generally taught in schools. Um, however, for the purposes of this video it's a fairly straightforward solution that hopefully will be of help to you. Uh, we'll just do one more example and the example we're going to use is 15 and 45. So again the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5 and 15. Okay, the factors of 45 are 1, 3, 5, 15 and 45. Okay, so again, I, I was finding it just a little bit tricky there because each time I'm having to work out whether the number will divide exactly into 45. So, although I can find out the highest common factor, um, do please have a look at the other videos um, and decide for yourself which method you're going to use. This particular one will work because the highest common factor of 15 and 45 is the highest number, which is 15 there. Okay, so both of them will work for you. It is a, it is a way, a method of, of doing this particular problem. Uh, if you have a look at mathsrap.co.uk, there is a quick test, so you can download the quick test and have a go at them for yourself. Um, I hope it's been useful. Please do post, pin, tweet uh, the video. Um, also add a comment below and I will get back to you and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.